my eating a day video this week. Um, in the past, I've done them on Mondays and Fridays, but my Fridays are really like, we all, almost always go to the Mexican restaurant and have fajitas. So then, I don't know, it just feels weird filming the same fajitas every week. So um, I didn't do one last week, so I thought, well, I'll try a Thursday this week. Um, so I'm going to bring you all along. I, of course, have my coffee this morning. And um, the sun is shining, which makes me very happy. Um, it has been cloudy here uh, all week since, well, Saturday it was nice, and then Sunday it was super windy. And so I don't really remember if there was sun or not on Sunday. Um, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday were, I don't remember seeing the sun. Literally yesterday, I texted Christy at Planning Us Healthy and was like, can you please send me a picture of sunshine? I am about to lose my mind. <laughs> so I am solar powered and I need the sun. Um, and too many days without it just really dragged me down and I was feeling it yesterday. I, um, I just was feeling it and I've kind of been feeling it all week, I guess. I've just been, I think I mentioned on my What I Eat In A Day video from Monday that I woke up cranky. Like I just, I woke up in a bad mood and I didn't know why and I've kind of just had that like grouchy feeling all week when it's just kind of like right in the back of your mind where you're just you're you're mad and irritated but there's like nothing to be mad or irritated about it's just this feeling and so I've really been struggling with that <clears throat> this week and so I know part of it is just the weather and it's just gloomy and I'm missing my grandbabies it's been I don't it's been a while like I don't think I saw them at all in February and um, they have some stuff going on and they're busy and I you know have life going on over here and it's just so I'm hoping I get to see them pretty soon because I I need some baby snuggles. Um, so, I mean, Beckham's gonna be all grown up and Gigi's not gonna have seen him. <laughs> and Brayden changes every day. Um, I'm so thankful for, you know, social media and getting to see videos and pictures and things that Amber posts or sends or whatever. And, um, I think she's just growing up every day. She'll post something and I'm like, ugh, why does she look so much bigger today? Or, you know, she's finding her voice and that kind of stuff. And so, anyway, um, I digress, which I do. But I, um, I just wanted to come on here and just get this day started and um, I'm gonna try to have a really good day. I'm gonna try to finish this week out on a positive note. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Saturday, um, Kiana and I will, I don't think she has to work this weekend. And so I think Saturday, she had texted me yesterday and said, can we go to Sprouts and Aldi on Saturday? So I think she wants to go do some grocery shopping. So that'll be fun. Um, we'll go to Sprouts and Aldi and I have um, our progressive day of eating collab is coming up um, that I do with Joan, Denise, Christy, and Kim um, and with their channels. And so that's coming up. And so I have a recipe planned um, to film this weekend for that. So that'll be exciting. And I started planning my menu last night. So I need to get that finished up. I've just got a couple of days that I'm not sure what we're gonna have. Um, and then Sunday, we're gonna go out to my mom and dad's. Um, they live on property with my brother. Um, and uh, they have a lot of trees. My dad had 
last year cut down a bunch of trees um, just to kind of thin out their front yard area and <coughs> excuse me um, he had texted called I don't remember which one my husband and said I've got a stump grinder for this weekend can you come so Hannah and Kobe and Scott and I are going to go up and spend the day on Sunday and help grind stumps and clean up in their yard and that kind of stuff. So that'll be fun. So I probably won't do a meal prep this weekend. Um, I will do a meal plan and a grocery haul on Saturday. Um, but I don't know that I'll really get a prep in since we're going to be up there on Sunday. But it'll be okay. I'm kind of... Um, Scott is just like, you know, and we all go through these cycles where we just get burnt out on food um, in general. You know, we just get tired of eating the same things and um, he's so good and he rarely complains even though I feel like I've said it the last couple of weeks that he's just, he's not complaining and he would continue to eat whatever I sent him. Um, but he's just, I know he's getting sick of it and I would be sick of it too. Um, and so I asked him last night, you know, is there something different you'd like to have for breakfast? Cause I'm really trying to plan dinners so he can have more like leftovers instead of like a prepared something Monday through Thursday to just try to help like mix it up a little bit. And, um, so he was like, yeah, I am getting kind of burnt out on my, you know, eggs and egg, I, even though I try to mix it up, egg bowls and muffins and, you know, I try to do different things, but, um, he said, yeah, I'm getting kind of, you know, sick of it. So I think he's just going to do cereal, um, next week. So I really won't have, you know, much to prep on my throw some chicken in the air fryer and purple some eggs, but y'all don't need to see that. So, not really going to have a meal prep this weekend, probably, um, but that's okay. Might do, like, a little vlog Sunday with the family, um, just for some fun, so we'll see. Anyway, I am hoping that you all are having a great week. Um, hope that you are getting some sunshine wherever you are and the temperatures are starting to warm up so I know we're all over winter I think everybody everybody I'm watching on their channels they're just like oh I'm so done with winter I need it to warm up and so hopefully you know March is here now and spring is around the corner and hopefully we're all gonna get you know a bit of a warm up and lift our spirits and rejuvenate us and, you know, push us forward to summer. So I'll be back with you all to uh, share my lunch and I'll see y'all then. Hey y'all. So it's lunchtime. It's about mm, a little after 1130 and I'm starting to get hungry. So I will show you all what I'm having for lunch. Um, I didn't have a snack. I brought some peaches, but I haven't had those yet. I might have that after lunch this afternoon if I'm hungry, but i um, starting to get hungry now. So let me turn you all around and show you what's for lunch. All right, so for lunch today, I have one point worth of turkey breast. This is the Aldi roasted, oven roasted turkey breast. I've got a one point uh, stick of light mozzarella, some carrots. I have one point worth of, um, well, maybe not even a point's worth, but I'll count it as a point. Um, I think I've said before I'm an over pointer <laughs> of uh, my homemade ranch and a hard boiled egg. And so this will be just a three point lunch and I've got my GG cup full of water. So I am good to go. Okay, so I thought I would show you all what I'm doing for dinner tonight. I have, um, I think four or five little chicken tenders that I've just chunked up. And I've put them on a cookie sheet with some of the Normandy blend vegetables. 
And then I also have another sheet with just the frozen bird's eye Normandy blend vegetables. And I've sprayed them with my Misto um, olive oil sprayer. And I have sprinkled them with some of the Mrs. Dash. This is the original blend. And just waiting on the oven to preheat. I'm gonna stick these in for, I don't know, probably about 20, 25 minutes, just until the chicken is done and the veggies are tender. So I'll be back to show you all my plate. All right, so here's dinner tonight. I'm having three points worth of, this is the Uncle Ben's long grain and wild rice um, packet. And I'm having three points worth of that. It was 85 grams. And then I've got my veggies and chicken. And so I'm counting a point just for the olive oil that I put um, on with the Misto. Uh, only because it's all just zero point stuff and I just feel like I should give it something. So three points for the rice, one point for the olive oil, so a four point dinner. Okay, so I'm starting to want a little something sweet. So I cut up some strawberries. I have a fiber one brownie, a couple of Lily's chocolate chips, and a sprinkle of the Lakanto powdered sugar. I think I might add just a little squirt of um, ready whip to it. So just a two or three point little snack. Okay, so I thought I would just hop on here real quick um, just to finish out this video. So um, you'll be able to see on the next little clip um, I'm finishing the day very low in points. I think I think I'm at like 12 points for the day, 13 maybe. Um, and it wasn't intentional. Um, I just, you know, we had a super low point dinner and um, I had a low point lunch. My breakfast is always just two points unless, you know, on the weekends I eat a little different for breakfast um, but during the work week it just works for me to just grab the premier protein so um, so yeah it was just a low point day um, so I have four rollovers um, for this weekend which is fine um, and sorry I know you can probably hear the washing machine going in the background there's always something right um, so I'm done for the night. I had my little sweet treat and I'm really ready for bed. <laughs> it's about eight o'clock and I am tired. Um, so I think I'm gonna switch into my PJs and probably veg and watch a few YouTube videos um, and then hit the sack. So yay, tomorrow is Friday. I'm so glad. Um, I still need to finish planning my menu for next week, so um, maybe I'll get that done tomorrow. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys are having a great um, rest of your week and are looking forward to being able to enjoy your weekend. And I will see you next time. Be sure and like this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload new content. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!